Hello, this is Sandout here, and welcome back to another Sonic the Hedgehog review. I've been slacking a little bit, uh, not in buying Sonic toys, clearly, but in reviewing them. Because today we'll be taking a look at Wave 2, 3, 4 of the 4-inch line, as well as a selection of the 2.5-inch Sonics, and we're going to be doing this at Sonic Speed. It's Morphin Time! Alright, so the first figure of Wave 2 we're looking at is Knuckles the Echidna. Now this, of course, finishes off kind of the main trio of Sonic Heroes, and Knuckles here is rendered quite well. As you can see, very nice expression on his face, a little cocky, a little sassy, you know, that Knuckles thing. I do like how he has one open hand in case you want him to hold something, and one fist, it kind of gives nice variety on good old Knuckles here. Um, pretty cool. He doesn't have much head movement uh, because he's accurate to Knuckles' design with the uh, the, the things here. And uh, other than that, though, you know, same articulation range pretty much as Sonic and the others. So you got like the ball joint wrists, the universal shoulders, universal hips, knees. Uh, the knees do so a little bit, and he's got big old ball jointed feet. And honestly, I was actually pretty impressed with the paintwork on the shoes because that's a lot of different colors in a short amount of space. So pretty nice overall. I gotta say Knuckles is one of my favorite Sonic characters and I'm glad to see him in the line, especially so well done. He's also one of the most solid due to those big shoes. He also does come with the green Chaos Emerald. Now the green Chaos Emerald here, uh, originally I thought, hey, was that supposed to be the Master Emerald? But it is a green. There are other colors which we'll talk about in a little bit, but it is pretty cool. It does have the peg on the bottom, the peg hole on the bottom like the other accessories, so you can plug it onto play sets. This also means you can have it freestand, which is super nice. Uh, Jazzwares, in their line, did do a set of Chaos Emeralds, and they all had to sit like that, uh, because there was the point at the bottom. So while not entirely as accurate, you can just kind of rust them like that, which I think is pretty awesome. But yeah, other than that, that is Knuckles. Uh, there's not too much else to say. He is a fine addition to the line. So, of course, here he is with the iconic duo of Sonic and Tails. They make a nice set together. So next up we have Metal Sonic, one of the classic Sonic villains debuting way back in Sonic CD and featured very prominently in the Sonic the Hedgehog OVA from the 90s, which is one of my earliest Sonic memories, alongside playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles on PC of all things. But this is a well-done Metal Sonic figure. I own almost every Metal Sonic figure that's, you know, in a normal price range. Um, kind of like standard retail stuff. I pretty much always pick up Metal Sonic, and this is probably my favorite, I think, that they've ever made from any company. So nice job, Jack Specific, uh, especially with the paintwork because it's not super sloppy. Uh, it's really nice and clean for pretty much all of the details on Metal Sonic here, and that makes me happy because I've seen enough sloppy paintwork on Metal Sonics to uh, basically, you know, be always tired of it. I'm not really sure where I was going with that. Point is, this guy's fantastic, and on top of that, they gave him more articulation than the standard figures. So he's got left and right swivel, he's got shoulders that move out, he has elbows that bend, in addition to an elbow swivel, so that's, you know, additional movement, ball joint at wrists. What's interesting is that this elbow moves out like this, and this one moves forward. Uh, they both rotate, kind of, but the actual joint is designed kind of like this, which is Pretty much, I think, due to Metal Sonic's renders. Anyways, hips that move, knees that bend, rotation, and a nice little ball joint, which means he can actually assume the um, the Vegeta fighting stance, which is something that I didn't think a uh, Metal Sonic could ever do. Even though he doesn't really need to do the Vegeta stance, he can, which is pretty impressive. He also has his accessory, which is a trap spring. This is the uh, spring where if you jump on this, you... Oh no, lost a life, have to restart the level. Um, but it does have a nice little spring to it and a peg hole in the back for the playsets. Pretty awesome figure overall. Metal Sonic is absolutely one of my favorites. So here we got Metal Sonic and Sonic. So you can see they're about the same height. They look fantastic together, even though Metal Sonic is showing Sonic up with having those elbows. And here we have Metal Sonic with his creator, Dr. Eggman. So to round out Wave 2, there was two repacks. Uh, these repacks are roughly the same figure, including a different accessory. So Tails now includes a speed pod, and Sonic now includes a snowboard. I didn't pick either of these up since I had the previous releases, 
but uh, they are a good way to get the figures back out into cycling without making the same exact thing every time. If you wanted all the power-ups, though, you are going to have to buy multiple figures. All right, so starting off Wave 3, we have Super Sonic. Now, of course, this is Sonic when he gathers all the Chaos Emeralds. And powers up like a Super Saiyan. Um, probably direct inspiration. Dragon Ball is very popular when they're making Sonic games. Um, but yeah, Super Sonic here, of course, is something we kind of expect with a Sonic the Hedgehog toy line. Once they make Sonic, likely Super Sonic. Another thing we can always expect with Super Sonic, he can be incredibly unstable. However, as you notice, this one's actually holding up. Uh, because of the hair, the, the spikes moving up, uh, it kind of makes them usually really top-heavy, and while I still got that, this is one of the more stable Supersonics, and I appreciate that. Same articulation as the Sonic we got in Wave 1, um, and also in Wave 2, and in Wave 3, and in Wave 4. Um, but anyways, this Sonic, pretty stable overall, and uh, yeah, pretty good articulation, kind of what we expect. Uh, now, what's kind of a bummer, at least to me, is that we, we got the 10 ring again, um, I kind of would have liked a new accessory that wasn't just the Ten Ring, because it's just a Ten Ring. But I liked the Chaos Emerald. We'll talk about that in a moment. And of course, here is Super Sonic with Sonic. You can see pretty much the same mold from the neck down, just a different head. The second new figure of Wave 3 is Mighty the Armadillo. This is our first classic Sonic character, and it's Mighty the Armadillo. How awesome. So Mighty the Armadillo is a character that appeared in a Sonic arcade game. A pretty obscure one. One that, you know, hasn't seen re-release ever since the arcades, I believe. And uh, he is a very obscure character that recently made a mainstream appearance in Sonic Mania alongside uh, Ray the Flying Squirrel, who I hope we see as well in the line. But Mighty here, I think, definitely took the cake of being... Kind of, you know, he was he was Knuckles before Knuckles existed in a way. Um, but Mighty, Mighty, I never expected to get a figure. Uh, even with his appearance in Sonic Mania, I didn't expect a figure. Now that they made him, I do expect a Ray, because that's just how my brain works. But I was actually pretty impressed that not only was our first classic Sonic era figure Mighty, but also that we even got Mighty. Amazing. Uh, now he's got pretty good articulation. The head turns left and right. Uh, thanks to his design, you actually do get some good range. Uh, shoulders move out, they rotate, you got the ball jointed hands, you got the hips that move, the knees that bend, the ankles that pivot, all that good stuff. I like the one open hand because you can kind of give him into a nice pose there, which also helps balance this guy out. His head is quite heavy. He also comes with a uh, ring box, which is very classic inspired. It's even got the lines on it to give it kind of a holographic feel. So yeah, Mighty the Armadillo is our first classic character and I'm pretty darn happy about that. Now our repacks for Wave 3 include Dr. Eggman with a checkpoint, as well as Sonic with the purple Chaos Emerald. Yeah, as you can see, I did end up buying Sonic again for the Chaos Emerald, because as it seems, uh, I'm gonna end up owning a few of Sonic and Knuckles and maybe some other characters, because they keep packing them with different colored Chaos Emeralds. Personally speaking, I would have preferred unique characters for the Chaos Emeralds to be included with, as opposed to having to buy repacks, but I understand logistics of toy lines, and I also understand I don't necessarily have to buy all the Chaos Emeralds, it's just I'm going to. I just hope we get some more variety so it's not just Sonic all the time with Chaos Emeralds. Um, but yeah, yeah, there we go. Two Chaos Emeralds. So, kicking off Wave 4 is another figure with a Chaos Emerald, this time being Super Shadow, which is, I think, a perfect way to release a Chaos Emerald. So Super Shadow, just like Super Sonic, Shadow when he uses all the Chaos uh, Emeralds or the Chaos Control. Um, pretty cool. Really like his mold overall uh, because he is the Shadow, but with a new head. Pretty nice. It's actually the hardest figure for me to find in Wave 4. Um, for some reason, it, it took a, a few more trips to find him, which is what... Sort of delayed the video once I decided I was going to do wave two through four in one video. Um, but overall, same articulation, same mold, same paint scheme pretty much, just gold and super. And then of course he comes with the red Chaos Emerald, which looks really nice. And just like uh, with the others, no bottom means you can just stand it up. Of course here is Shadow with Super Shadow. Uh, I do... There is no actual mold change. I just realized that Super Shadow is the same exact mold, just in yellow with some red accents. Uh, I forgot that Shadow's hair doesn't actually change. But, as you can see, 
pretty nice. And overall, it does feel like Super Shadow is a bit sturdier than regular Shadow, so there is a quality improvement going on with the line. And then, of course, here is Super Shadow with Super Sonic. I expect a Super Silver whenever they also make a Silver. Our last unique 4-inch figure we're looking at today is Classic Sonic, uh, which kind of makes a lot of sense since we just got Ray, or uh, sorry, we just got Mighty. Um, so here's Classic Sonic, looking awesome. I love these got the lighter blue color scheme. Um, really love that. They did that on the Sonic Mania Deluxe figure as well, and I really do like that. Uh, pretty cool overall. He does share a body with uh, Mighty, which is fine. And overall, despite the really solid head, he does have a pretty good solid base of articulation. So he's got the shoulders, the hands, the hips, the knees, the ankles, you know what to expect at this point. He's got a very happy smile on his face. Uh, he's, he balances pretty good overall. He also does come with a spring. Uh, this one's in red. Uh, it's very similar to the spring on the Green Hill Zone playset, which is in yellow, with a standard peg connection as opposed to that specialized one. Um, but yeah, it's uh, springy, it's bouncy, it's pretty darn cool. And here's Classic Sonic alongside Mighty. It's nice that we're getting a classic line in addition to a modern line. Mixing the two together is awesome, and I hope we see more from it. So talking about repacks, we have Tails with a spring, and then we have Knuckles, who comes with the blue Chaos Emerald. And just like I was talking about in the last wave, I am buying extra figures for Chaos Emeralds, not so much other accessories, because these do look really, really pretty. And we already got four of them here, so hopefully the next three we can at least get a couple more characters uh, in with them, but it's nice that we have almost a complete set of Chaos Emeralds after only a couple waves. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to have had them with more unique characters as opposed to more repacks, but I understand the business the logistics behind that. So here's a look at all ten unique figures from the first four waves of the four-inch articulated Sonic the Hedgehog Jack specific action figures. That mouthful aside, this line's off to a great start. There's a lot of good variety. Uh, I do appreciate we already got the super modes. Um, and, you know, everything being a retail figure is nice, and especially with repacks. So if you miss Knuckles the first time, he came out again. If you miss Tails, if you miss Sonic, if you missed Eggman, they've all been repacked. Um, I think the only ones that have been unique packs so far are the two supers, Metal and Mighty. Uh, I think everything else has got repacks. If they haven't already happened, they will happen soon. Uh, there are listings for more figures in the line, including an Amy Rose, so I'm pretty excited to see where it goes from here. Now, just to add on to this, since we're already taking a look at so many Sonic figures to begin with, I thought, hey, let's uh, let's throw in some 2.5-inch figures, including some that might scale with the 4-inch ones. Okay, so we're taking a look at the 2.5-inch figures. The first ones we want to talk about are the smaller versions of the 4-inch figures. These are definitely designed for the playsets, like the Green Hill playset that I've reviewed before. Uh, wave 1 of these figures included... Modern Sonic, Tails, uh, Knuckles, Metal Sonic, and a Blue Chow, which we'll talk about in a moment. Wave 2 included a repack of Sonic, a Super Sonic, which I don't have, a Knuckles repack, a Shadow, and then a Dr. Eggman, which I also don't have. Wave 3 included Classic Sonic, repack of Tails, a Metal Sonic repack, a Gold Chow, and a Motobug, which we'll talk about in a moment. And then Wave 4, which I don't know if it's out yet, but it includes Modern Sonic Repack, Shadow Repack, Knuckles Repack, Super Sonic Repack, hopefully I can get him this time, and Silver the Hedgehog. So with that, uh, the 2.5-inch line, they're neat. They're not as detailed. Uh, they're not as painted as nicely as the 4-inch figures. They're not as articulated, but they serve their purpose for an articulated little figure that can go with playset. So we'll do a quick zoom and pan here. Uh, just because I kind of wanted to show them off, even though I'm not really individually reviewing them. They're neat. I find them on occasion when I'm shopping for the other figures. And other than that, I'm not too concerned most of the time with collecting these. It's kind of a little side hobby. And as a little side hobby, they're pretty nice. And of course, they are designed for the Green Hill playset, so they look pretty fantastic on here. Hopefully we're getting more playsets and things in the future. In fact, I know about a couple, but... We'll talk about those when the day comes. Now the two and a half figures I did want to talk about was the Gold Chow and the Motobug because these actually, they're the two and a half inch line, but they really feel like they fit the four inch. That Motobug is, is massive compared to a two inch, but you know, if you look at especially the Chow, the Chow definitely fits the four inch scale. Um, so let's kind of take a look at those because I think these are nice accompanying pieces. Uh, of course, 
There is also a blue chow. I don't have the blue chow. I've never found one. But I do have the gold one. Uh, this one's actually a little articulated. You can see his, the, the little arms move, the head moves, which is pretty nice. It's a, it's a nice little chow. Um, not many, much else to say there. And the motorbug, same thing, except the motorbug's got a little bit of a, a twist. You can pull the motorbug off the stand, and it rolls, uh, which is pretty cool. It's not going to stand on the wheel, mind you, uh, but this is a rubberized tire, so it actually is... Let's throw my, my autofocus out of whack, but it is a rubberized tire, which means it just... You can, you can make it roll a little while before it just kind of falls over. And then, yeah, there's there's one section on the tire that's got a peg hole. You put the little stand in, and got a motobug standing. So if you are ignoring the 2.5-inch line completely, I'd say don't skip over the chows or the motobug. They definitely add to the 4-inch experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just kind of wanted to catch up on the 4-inch line. It's been a hot minute since I've talked about them, mostly because, you know, in a review sense, they pretty much all have the same articulation, and they're all really good, so I have to kind of come up with new things to say about each of them and I just kind of put it off. But I'm glad we did the catch up and we'll sit here waiting to see what wave five brings us and wave six and wave seven. And I've looked at the listings, but I want to see the figures before I decide how we're going to review them. So stay tuned. If you missed any of my previous videos of Sonic the Hedgehog, there will be a playlist at the end of the video that'll take you to everything. I've reviewed wave one, I've reviewed the Sonic Mania Deluxe figure, as well as the awesome Green Hill Zone playset. My brain also almost forgot what Green Hill Zone was for a second because I've been talking about Sonic too long. Um, but overall, stay tuned. There will be more videos in the future as the figures come out because this line is awesome and I don't plan on dropping it anytime soon. So until next time, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, especially right now with YouTube's algorithm being really broken and recommending videos from two, three years ago as opposed to videos from two or three days ago. I could really appreciate notification bells and keeping track of reviews because yeah youtube's not helping anybody right now and also be sure to check out hero club at hero-club.com for all your news interviews and more and check out my awesome graphic designer on twitter at darkloss643 and until next time this is sad out saying goodbye <laughs>